my name is teacher Alex and I will be reading The Night Before Preschool. And this is by Amy Woomer and Natasha Wing. Twas the night before preschool, alarm clocks were set. All the children were cuddling their favorite plush pet. Monkeys and lions and soft bunnies too would be going to school like big boys and girls do. Parents set out their clothes and clean underwear. Hoodies were hung by the front door with care. The children then nestled all warm in their beds while visions of playtime danced in their heads. But one little boy was still wide awake. He worried about preschool and the friends he'd make. His tummy hurt, yet he didn't know why. He hid behind mommy. He was feeling quite shy. Hi there, Billy, said Justin. He cre greeted each child by name. Gather round and we'll start with a fun clapping game. Kids sang song and dance dances. They love circle time. Then everyone listened to stories and a mother goose rhyme. They dressed up in clothes from big costume box. Look, I'm a pirate and I'm Goldilocks. But Billy just watched the other kids as they played and the corner by himself was right where he stayed. He drew a dinosaur as tall as a tree. He showed it to Justin. That's great, is it for me? Then the children picked up their crayons and toys and took a trip to the bathroom, one for the girls and one for the boys. Then off the class marched for playtime outside. There were tricycles to ride in a big loop-de-loop, -loop, a garden to tend and a sand pile to scoop. After hanging up jackets and wiping off shoes, they gathered their buddies for a quiet time snooze. The kids lay on their mats. Soon there was a peep. All the qu there wasn't a peep. All were quiet except for Billy, who could not fall asleep. I can't take a nap without my Teddy Jerome, but he's not here. Wailed Billy. I left him at home. When what to his watering eyes should appear but a soft fuzzy rabbit with a bow on his ear. It's okay, a little girl said. Here, take my bunny. And suddenly Billy's tummy stopped feeling so funny. Thanks, whisper, whispered Billy, snuggling up for a nap. And just like that, he was asleep in a snap. After nap time was over, he played with Charlene. I'll be at the blue ring, said Billy, and I'll be the green. When out of the hallway, there arose such a clatter. Kids sprang to the door to see what was the matter. Parents rushed in, waiting for hugs and kisses. Billy's mom brought Jerome and asked, did you miss us? See you tomorrow, said Justin, while the first day was done. I'll be back, Billy shouted. Preschool is fun. Thank you.